Hello everybody, my name is Alavar and welcome back to Game of Thrones Telltale series. Now I am back from the Christmas period, uh, ready to deliver some more content. Uh, I thought I'd jump back into Game of Thrones because that's where I was from where I last left off. We are locked well, this in one looks loose. a dungeon, which is always fun. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. And that's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. I'm not sure I believe you. What? Why are you really doing this? I wasn't lying, Garrett. Well, well, there is another reason. He wants to see the I want to go Grove. with you yeah. to the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. <sighs> it's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. All right. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. That might be useful. What else, what else you got in here? Fuck it. Yeah, I might as well look at the bucket. I might as well look at it. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Sand. Ugh. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. No, I used that thingy. Yeah. Damn it! Boosh. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. Coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, all right? Nice. I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. As much as I wanted to stay in the night's watch, this works okay, I guess. Oh shit! Aren't you two idiots lucky I'm not Frostfinger? Thought you were being sly, eh? 
I figured you'd try something like this. Oh, Finn. Am I glad to see you? I'm the sword in the darkness. Helping a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with a potato fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Yeah, Having take... another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move! Alright then. Yeah, I was always, I like Finn. He's always coming along. I wanna see some white walkers. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty, too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? wrong mother it's griff he was arguing with the maester and things got out of hand i'm coming what do you mean to do Th this could be our chance he's right we must hurry i'll make sure the maester is safe that's what matters you can do much more than that roderick that'll be my decision arthur the rest of my men are still in the grove they could be here in minutes I'll need every one of them for what I'm about to do. Hi. I'll have them here as soon as possible. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. Cool. Let's do some damage. I'm coming with you. Oh. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Yeah. Together then. All right. Yeah. I like this. It's gonna go badly, but I like it so far. Rise up, people. Roderick is here. To obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you me. You 
I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? Let the maester go, Grim. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand! Ouch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I like that one. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, Griff. You know that. Oh, you got quite the mouth on you, Roderick. You know what I think. My brother is ready. Yes. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Careful, Griff. You really don't want to do that. And why <laughs> the fuck not? I'll You're planning to stop you. me? Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, I the wrong button. Oh, what's the cripple up to now, eh? Fancy yourself a warrior? You are nothing, Roderick. Just give up. Not today. Accept it. You're just embarrassing. Shut the fuck up. Fucking yes. What the hell is this? Oh yeah. What are your orders? Fire. I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Take their weapons. What are you doing? Drop it. Kill him then. Now. This is my hall. You have no right to be here. Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. I did warn you, Riff. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone... Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Him again. Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? Is that it then? We're done here. Clear out. Find the white hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. This isn't over, Roderick! They're cool. I like the archer guys. Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Yeah, yeah. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the ravens. All of them. Of course. I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking I will not let about? you bark orders at me! I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher! You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Bester, anyway! what the hell is going on? You gonna lecture me too? 
Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go. You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! It's just a city, Beska. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. Okay. Oh, I am. Is this what you want? Get off me. I can't. Tell me, what are you so afraid of? I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. That's enough drinking for tonight. It'll only make you feel worse. I don't need any more men telling me what to do. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. Oh, she is hammered. Thomas, you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lords Morgren and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. All right. You owe me for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. It's a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Long may he reign. Sarah! Uh. I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people. Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. <Stop> <laughs> <it. laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? My apologies. I just noticed Lords Andros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. I'm gonna get caught. danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Right then. This is all the time I have for this episode here. Uh, we've retaken our house back in Forester Land, which is sweet. Um, I actually think Morgren is the bad guy, but yeah, we'll see. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.